Hi food lovers, my name is Adrian and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're back on the Gold Coast where we're checking out the restaurant that offers the best sandwiches. According to TripAdvisor, there are 36 restaurants on the Gold Coast that offer sandwiches. And at the very top of the list is Paddock Bakery. Opened in February of 2014 by Ben and Ursula, this family owned and operated restaurant makes all of their menu items in-house daily in their 1936 Queenslander, which Ben renovated and extended with his bare hands. According to bakingbusiness.com.au, there is a good reason why it feels so much like home. Rebelling against the slick, glitzy offerings of the Gold Coast, Paddock Bakery is based in an all weatherboard house where they're all about keeping it real. So real, in fact, you'd be excused for kicking off your shoes and forgetting that you weren't in your own backyard. According to the owners, we want to share our passion with our customers who come far and wide to enjoy the food we have spent sleepless nights thinking up, testing and producing at the very highest standard possible. At the heart of it all is our wood-fired oven creating what we believe to be the best wood-fired sourdough around. They are also very well known for their muffins, donuts, cookies, cakes, artisan pastries, and lastly, their sandwiches. They believe in the simple things, done well, done right, offering a menu which is creative and delicious. And on that note, let's go order and see just how delicious the sandwiches actually are. Hey guys, so I just um, placed the order. Uh, it is very, very busy today. It's a Sunday, it's about one o'clock. Uh, so it'll probably take a while to come out. Um, in that time, I just thought I'd share with you a, a funny story. So when I was doing my research for the best sandwiches on the Gold Coast, uh, actually at number one was another restaurant. And uh, I went to their website and uh, looked through their menu and I couldn't find one single sandwich. So uh, I rang them up and I said, excuse me, I said, do you have a, um, like a, a, a separate menu for your, for your sandwiches? And the lady was sounded very confused over the phone and she said she has no idea what I'm talking about. And I, I said to her, I mentioned to her how they're number one on TripAdvisor um, under the sandwiches category. And she started laughing. She said, we've never offered sandwiches as part of our menu. She said, I can make you a toasty, uh, but that's about the extent of, uh, of what I can offer you. So uh, there you go. That's, that's what happened. Um, so I went to number two, which is this place, um, Paddock Bakery. Um, now, so far, um, I, I, I want to touch a little bit on, on, on customer service. Um, now, I, I operate a small business and um, I know as a small business operator that customer service is absolutely paramount. Now, I understand that it's, it's a Sunday. I understand that they are extremely, insanely busy, which is why they don't take um, bookings or reservations. Um, but so far, there isn't really anything in the way of customer service. I mean, um, you know, I had to chase someone down to, to grab a menu. Um, I had to, you know, ask them about their menu. No one approached us. No one came to us. No one offered to, to, to take us through the menu um, and, and when the time came to order I had to go line up um, there were probably about 20 people ahead of me and um, yeah when I when I came to the register to order the ladies the, the, the girl said what would you like you know there was no hello how are you how's your date again I get that they're busy but you know I think in my opinion I believe that it's bad business practice to put profit ahead of service. Um, as I said, you you um, you know compare this with the likes of Alfresco Italian restaurant, Betty's Burgers or like Cafe Gourmand. I mean, those guys are even though they were very busy, customer service light years ahead of this place. Absolute light years ahead of this place. So. Uh, on the menu, they have one, two, three, four, five, six sandwiches. Um, so what I ordered today was the, the Reuben. The Reuben contains freshly sliced Wagyu beef, Swiss cheese, house pickles, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, and American mustard on their wood-fired 
sourdough bread. Um, that's $15.90 and I also I ordered avocado as an option which is an extra $4. So $19.90, let's, let's call it a $20 sandwich. Uh, the other one I ordered was the fresh BLT sourdough sandwich which contains crispy, hot, streaky bacon, oak leaf lettuce, vine ripe tomato and herb and mayo on their wood-fired sourdough. Now that sandwich was $14.90. Uh, I also ordered the optional extras with it which is the avocado for $4 and the spiced chicken for $5. So this is a $24 or so, you know, $24, $25 sandwich, which um, they're certainly not the cheapest sandwiches around. I am hoping that they are brilliant. Um, and hopefully the wait isn't too long either. So, see you guys soon. Ah, wonderful. So that's your Reuben. The Reuben, excellent, excellent. That is the BLT. Whoa. Told you it was a good Wow. All right, you speak my language. There we go, darling. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Good. And I'm all right with this too now. Oh, I don't need that done? anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. So the, the Reuben, my $20, 1990 Reuben, and my 24, I think $24, the BLT, I mean, <laughs> that is, is, is unbelievable, isn't it? That's one heck of a burger. Um, look, we'll start off with the Reuben because on account that it's smaller um, and I can actually grab it. The other thing I should mention, uh, my kids, uh, you know, we, we have sandwiches at, at home a lot. You know, I, I love to make them for the kids, for my wife. My kids, though, they call it salmonich. So uh, on account of my kids, let's dig into this uh, salmonich. Oh, wow. Um, um, <laughs> um <laughs> I, I can't bite it. The sauerkraut, I'll say it's better than the um, the Bavarian. Better sauerkraut than the Bavarian. Mm. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Now, the big boy. <laughs> I, I, I can't even pick it up. Um, all right, let's, let's get dig into it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. The flavor of that bacon, mm. orgasmic, absolutely orgasmic. Now, let's try the chicken on the account that it fell out of the sandwich. Mm. It's got a barbecue flavor. Oh. Pure orgasmic. Mm. Unbelievable. As I said, I you can't even <clears throat> can't even really grab it. Mm. Finally a place that makes Adrian size sandwiches. Mm. Oh. Um, avocado too. Mm. And that sauce that they've got in it. I don't know what it is, but really good. Now, let's try their salad though. They, um, in a Soviet. <laughs> they always, um, tell us how good their, um, the sourdough is so oh yeah crunchy it's good 
I don't know if it's the best sourdough I've had in my life, but I mean, it is really good sourdough. What else we got on this sandwich here? Lettuce, tomato. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'll finish eating this, guys. If I can. And uh, I'll be back with, um, with the verdict. See you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. Just uh, finished eating. Now... We'll start with the BLT. It was probably one of the most, if not the most orgasmic BLT sandwich I've had in my life. And while it was damn near $25, um, it's worth it. I mean, flavor-wise, um, size-wise, it was, it was perfection. I would get it again in a heartbeat. What made it extra good, I think, was the extra chicken and avocado. Um, the taste of that chicken, the, the, the barbecue taste, um, it, was, it was unbelievable. The other burger, the Reuben, um, <clears throat> as much as I, I, I love sauerkraut, I feel that it overpowered the flavor of the sandwich. The Wagyu beef was cut so thin that I, I confused it with bacon. I thought it was bacon. Um, you really couldn't taste the flavor of the Wagyu beef or really too much else on there because the sauerkraut was so overpowering. Um, if if um, I was to have that, that sandwich again, I would definitely leave the sauerkraut out to see just how much the other flavors uh, would be able to, to come through to shine. Um, so it's hard for me to, I guess, to, to rate uh, the Reuben um, because of the overpoweringness of the uh, of the sauerkraut um, and I couldn't really get a you know the, the, the full proper flavor of it but you know probably around the an, an eight or a nine I would say um, the customer service as I mentioned a little bit earlier is is a little bit disappointing now I understand that they are busy it is a Sunday it is lunchtime um, but you know I have been to other restaurants uh, in, in busy times like Alfresco's or uh, Betty's Burgers or La Cafe Gourmand and again they were very 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 busy um, restaurants but the staff still you know greeted you and um, you know walked, talked you through the menu and explained the different options and things like that so I don't think um, that's you know too much to ask for of, of any restaurant, um, you know, list, the re list of all the restaurants that charges $25 for a sandwich. Um, the, 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 the tiny, the little bit of interaction I had with the staff um, when they brought out the, uh, the sandwiches was good. Um, you know, the lady was, was, was friendly and, and so no complaints there. But, um, you know, between the, the time that our water was brought out, and that's because I asked for it when I ordered the food. Um, to when my meal was was brought out, no one no one came to approach us. No one came to ask us, you know, if we, they can get us anything, if if um, if we'd like anything else. Um, even now that we finished eating, still no one no one's come here. So you know, customer service, honestly, it's bordering really non-existent uh, very very similar to the Bavarian um, so that's it for uh, for today guys thank you for joining me again see you guys next time and remember never trust a skinny food critic